Hi, my name is Nathan Elliott, and I'm currently a senior at the Center for Science and Industry. Uh, currently, I'm studying the mechatronics pathway, and for my capstone project, I decided to create a video game controller, all of my own. And I decided to do this because I thought it would be very challenging for me, and I also like playing video games, so I thought it would be a great way to combine both of those ideas. So I began with the code. I had to understand what all the text meant and what part did what thing on the controller and so here's all my code and then I began to actually putting together my Arduino micro board and taking apart a PS4 controller and um, here's what it looked like uh, before taking it apart so I began testing the code my joysticks the left and the right one here's it shown and then I began to further take apart the controller, cutting out the holes I needed to insert all the parts. And so I began to solder, which was a really difficult process for me because I am not very good at soldering. So I began soldering the joystick and the buttons together. And uh, after putting all the parts together, I was ready to start filling all the holes on the controller. And so I decided to use fiberglass and resin, which ended up making the process a whole lot more difficult because I ended up mixing it wrong. And instead of taking a few hours to dry, I ended up taking a few days. However, after I got over this wall, I was able to spray paint it and then finally start to put the thing together. Once put together, I was ready to start mapping all the inputs in the program that I'll use to play games with. And when I press the button, you can see it getting mapped.